Okay, paper 3, June 2017. Question number 4. Where's the uh, pH range of a suitable indicator? Well, it's rising very quickly between pH 7 and pH 10. It's going up almost vertically between those points. So 7 to 10 is a good place for a suitable range for an indicator. Ka of Hx, so I'll make H plus and X minus. So you've got those concentrations divided by Hx concentration. Calculate the concentration of X, Hx in the original solution. Well, from the graph, it's looking like for equivalence point where the line is going up quickly. At that point, the acid and the base have neutralized each other. So I need 24 centimeter cube reading down from that sharp point on the graph. 24 centimeter cubed is sodium hydroxide. It tells me its concentration. I've now got a volume, 24 centimeter cubed, 0.024 decimeter cubed. And I've got a concentration, 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is moles divided by 0 0.024. So I know the number of moles of sodium hydroxide to neutralize the acid. Um, the acid HX will react with sodium hydroxide in a ratio 1 to 1. Um, and therefore the number of moles of HX is 0 0.024 as well. Concentration is moles divided by volume. Does it tell me the volume of the acid? Yes, it does. 25 centimeter cubed, 0 0.025. So... Uh, moles of acid 0 0.0024 divided by 0 0.025, 0 0.096 mole per decimeter cubed is the concentration of the acid. Um, so, is it a buffer? No, it's not a buffer. So in 4.4, it's asking me to work out the pH. So I can use H plus squared because the concentration of H plus and X minus are the same because the acid HX is dissociating to make one mole of HX. So one mole of H plus at the same time as one mole of X minus. They're in equal amounts because the HX acid is dissociated to make one of each. So I've simplified H plus X minus concentrations to equal H plus squared. Uh, worked out H plus squared. Squared root two worked out H plus minus log to the base 10 of it, 2.80. Put it to three significant figures because everything else is to three significant figures. Calculate the pH when half of the acid is reacted. When half the acid is reacted, we call that half neutralization. So half the acid needed to uh, react with the sodium hydroxide. Uh, half neutralization, pH equals pKa. You've got to remember that and what pKa stands for. P stands for minus log. So pH is minus log of Ka. Now I've worked out the pH. Um, no, I haven't. Sorry, I've got to work out the pH. I know the Ka is 0.000262 from the question. So minus log to the base 10 of that is 4.58, and that gives me the uh, pH when half of the acid is reacted. Again, I put it to three significant figures because um, other data is to three significant figures. Plot your answers to question 4.4 and 4.5. Well, we know the um, pH of the acid to start with is 2.8, so we can plot that at 2.8 on the graph when no sodium hydroxide has been added. And we know at half equivalence point, when half of the acid has reacted, it's 4.58. So how much acid needs to be added? Well, at half equivalence point, that's half the acid and or half of the sodium hydroxide has been added. 24 centimetre cubed of sodium hydroxide. Uh, half of 24 is 12. So when half equivalence point, when half the acid or half the sodium hydroxide has been added, 12 centimetre cubed gives a pH of 4.58. So I've put that in as a point and I've joined it up with the smooth curve. Two four six trichlorophenol is a weak monoprotic acid, um, Ka. So if I did, uh, it's not a buffer. So instead of um, H plus uh, X minus whatever else is made uh, concentrations, I can simplify that to H plus squared divided by the concentration of what I'm starting with, which is two four six trichlorophenol. So the Ka two point five one times ten to the minus eight equals H plus squared divided by the concentration of the trichlorophenol, which it tells me is 2 times 10 to the minus 3. Put those numbers in, work out h plus squared, square root it, and I've got the concentration of h plus 7.085 times 10 to the minus 6, which is closest to b, answer b.
Question 10. What's the pH of a 0.46 mole per decimeter cube solution of potassium hydroxide? So I've been given Kw. So I know the concentration of potassium hydroxide, it's a strong base that's going to fully dissociate. So the concentration of OH minus concentration in there is 0.46 as well. What does Kw equal? Kw is H plus multiplied by OH minus concentration. That's what Kw is for, to turn OH minus concentration into H plus concentration, or the other way around. So Kw, I've been given 1 times 10 to the minus 14, equals H plus concentration times OH minus concentration. OH minus concentration is 0 0.46. I can work out the H plus concentration, 2.174 times 10 to the minus 14. I can minus log to the base 10 of that and come out with a pH 13.66. That seems reasonable because potassium hydroxide has a very strong base, so it's going to have a very high pH, and that looks as if it's answer B.